So this is a 1937 Ford slant back, and I'm doing a brake disc brake conversion using a Speedway kit with a five and a half inch bolt pattern. Uh, there are some videos on how to install these, but definitely not one on specifically uh, 1937 Ford. So this is the left side that I've already installed. And I actually had to call tech support because I ran into one small snag, um, which I'll uh, get into in a second. Here's the piece that was giving me troubles on my uh, kit when I installed it all. I could turn uh, to the right, no problem. And when I go to turn to the left, it would hit. This piece uh, would hit the, the adapter bracket. Uh, so it was surprised how easy it came off. And uh, tech support, I called them up and they said just just put another uh, put a regular nut on there and it should be fine. So the thread on this one's actually uh, seven sixteenths twenty national fine. All right, there it is. The wheel stop. Just got it. Spray some stuff on it and unscrew it. Came other one came off pretty easy. Just take it off and then put a regular nut on it. It's a tapered pin that goes all the way through that holds the kingpin in. And uh, need to put a regular nut on it. 7 16 20 is the nut. So when you get the kit I got, you got to take out the outer bearing race, this one here. This one I took out of the other one. Also, if you're like me and you don't like bearings made here, you'll probably want to order some different ones. Both bearings are made there. but. I'm going to put them in temporarily until I get to do my uh, kingpins and then change them later. So what I did was I got an inch and a quarter socket and barely got a lip down there to bang on. So I put the socket down there and I put another socket on top of it and then I just pound on here with my copper hammer until the thing falls through. And it will fall through if you when you get to the last hit just tilt the rotor over a little bit and then hit it again it'll all fall out. So I was wrong about the size socket not an inch and a quarter that was too big. This is a one and one eighth inch. I put that in first and then put the black socket on top of it and then hammered it through. So I noticed when people were packing their wheel bearings in the video about putting the disc brake kit on Nobody had one of these units. I got this one when I worked at the Honda shop in Santa Clara. This is the coolest thing for packing bearings. It gets grease in every nook and cranny. So you just put the bearing on, like that, screw the top on, done because the grease will come squirting out. And then the wasted grease stays in the center. And you can reuse the wasted grease on your surfaces. So you can see the grease is squeezing out around the bottom of the bearing like that. Then you just take it off and wipe some more on the outside bearing surface. I bought this from uh, Snap-on, Matco, or Mac. I'm not sure. We used to have all those trucks come into our place. So, on one of the videos, the guy says to uh, heat up the sleeve. And I found a pipe exactly a perfect fit uh, and you deburr the inside and it fits in there just like that and you heat it up and as soon as you do that it just falls on 
So I'm going to heat this thing up 400 degrees for 20 minutes in my toaster oven that I use for powder coating. Here it is in the pipe. Where's my, where's my electric light? There we go. Here, watch. I bet it'll go on. There it is. It's on. And this one, I add a little bit of grease to the seal. So that's what I've always done. Even though nobody else has been doing it in their videos, I do it anyway. Tab washer. And the castle nut. And then uh, on my car, the car pin goes in straight through that way. And there's only one hole. There's not a whole bunch like on a modern car. And this castle nut, different, different than one on the other side. I hope everything is going to line up right. All right. We know what to do next. Something else that people don't tell you in their videos when you're doing disc brakes, you need to wipe off the disc brake rotor with uh, lacquer thinner or acetone. This is when the disc brake rotors are made, they're machined. Ground, they got oil, grease, wax, who knows what all on them. You just put them up, do this before you put the disc brake pads on. And won't be sliding down the road with no brakes. Uh, I was thinking this might be helpful. The nut is, and the bolt, three quarter inch. And the brake line, flare nut wrench, seven sixteenths. And the actual brake line, you'll need a five eighth inch wrench. At least that's what's on my car. Your car might have something else. So the other bolts that I forgot to mention, the size, the, the nut that goes back here, that one's uh, 11 sixteenths. And there's one more wrench you're gonna need. Allen wrench, tighten it up. The through bolts, and they are Three eighth inch. All right. It looks like they put new wheel cylinders in, but they forgot to put new brake shoes in because they're kind of delaminating. <laughs>